Sea Search 2.1. Cover quadrats, algae and invertebrates. Difficulty, moderate. Algae and invertebrates are habitat forming species. By monitoring their cover and abundance, we get an idea of the health of the rocky reef habitat. For this method, you will need waypoints and a quadrat map, quadrat placement markers, GPS, 50 centimetre closed quadrat, 50 centimetre open quadrat, quadrat labels, data sheets, ID sheets, waterproof digital camera, a clipboard, and a pencil. Before you start this activity, you need to select a date and time that coincides with a sufficiently low tide. This information can be found on the Bureau of Meteorology website. Important to remember, when daylight savings is in effect, you need to add an hour to the times. On the day of the survey, your ranger will mark quadrat locations based on predetermined GPS waypoints. The sea search group will break into pairs or groups and assign a set of quadrats to sample. Before you start your first quadrat, make sure you fill in the site information at the top of your data sheets. Using the quadrat placement marker your ranger has already set out for you as a guide, place the open quadrat on the reef. Place the quadrat photo label above the top left hand corner. Take a photo of the quadrat from directly above. Make sure everything is in focus and you've got the entire quadrat plus the label in the frame. These photos can be digitally analysed for cover and abundance and are a useful quality control measure. Record the quadrat's GPS waypoint on your data sheet and tick that you have taken a photo. Next we want to count how many species in our quadrat line up with the intercept points of the grid. So we're going to need to swap our open quadrat with a gridded quadrat. Intercept points are where the grid lines meet. Make sure you only count the species directly under these points. Use an ID guide to identify any species you are unfamiliar with. Systematically check which species, if any, line up with the intercept points in your quadrat while your partner tells you. I like to start from the top left hand corner and work my way across from top to bottom, just like this. It's a good idea to swap with your partner and do it again, just to make sure you get the same result. Make sure the data for each quadrat is complete before moving on to the next quadrat. When you've finished your assigned quadrats, check again to ensure your data sheets are complete. You can then pass them to your ranger who will process them back at the office. When you have access to a computer, download and clearly name your quadrat photos as per the naming convention outlined on the Sea Search website. Burn these to disk and give them to your ranger.